Hey folks, welcome back to the first Remo builds in a very long time and I apologize for kind of doing away with this for a while but uh, I'm going to get back to it because I know it's some valuable information for people that get pretty intimidated by how the editor works. It is pretty complicated but we'll start working through some of the basics and perhaps get to the more intricate stuff as we go. So I was talking to a modder who's moving over from Mudrunner. He's a longtime modder and made some excellent maps, Smart 1-9. And he's been asking a few questions about how the new mission system works. And his first question was, how do you set up a garage? So I'm going to walk you guys through a quick setup. The garage is necessary to upload a mod to mod io that's all you need is a working garage and same with multiplayer all you need is a working garage and your map will function in multiplayer so it's the most basic thing essentially you need so the the first thing that we're going to do is and i've already flattened it but we're going to take our geometry brush i've got it at 35 the value is just up or down I think basically with the flatten so I just leave that at 50 and then your fall off is just the size of the inner brush so it, if it if you got it at zero it's not gonna it's gonna do real sharp edges and if you put it up at a hundred it'll have some fade so anyways we want a nice flat area so our model isn't floating anywhere so we're just gonna go around flatten it hit our button our right mouse button to finish the the uh, geometry and then now we have a flat area so then we're gonna right click go to model and we want a garage so we're gonna go to the search box and we're gonna do GAR which will give us all the tags with GAR in it anywhere in it it's not just the first three letters so we're gonna pick a just a generic garage here to do our setup with so all we want to do is place it down and we want to make sure I usually look at the doors and I'll lift the model up to see where it ends and then just set it down so that we know and then typically if you're working on this in game you're going to want to go all the way around stuff you lay down and make sure everything's making contact with the ground it's easy to miss especially when you get hundreds and hundreds of models if not thousand models in a map so it's just easier to do it one at a time i've learned so now we want to set up our garage so each garage needs an entrance and an exit which means we need two zones because every action in the game is triggered by a zone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click we're gonna add zone now the arrow is the direction that your truck will spawn so if this is where your truck comes out of the garage it's going to be facing the direction of the arrow so this is important just with where you want placement it uh, it works the same way in uh, in gateways so our entrance for the garage doesn't matter which way the arrow goes because we're using it to go in it's just when you spawn out of something the direction or spawning cargo the direction of the arrow is important so for our garage entrance we're going to put our zone there we're going to go to ID and type G A R A G E underscore E N T for entrance. Then click enter. To name stuff, you need to use a few different things to do the full naming process in game. So for your icons, these are for your mini map and for your, I can't remember what the other one is. Regardless, there's two. 
and then there's the name that's going to show on your mini map in game so to get these icons what we're going to do is we're going to go to the snow runner manual and i believe it's page 135 we're going to come in here we're going to look for garage image 30 copy we're in the 30 by 30 done so now we're going to go back to the editor again and we're going to do the oops we just want to get just the letters i believe one of these is outlined and one of these isn't so we're going to put the 40 by 40 in there and then for our name in game what people see we're going to put garage enter so now to set up the exit we're going to say we want them to come out the back of the garage so we're going to have to make another zone or trigger point spawn point for the exit of the garage so this one I tend to make a little bigger it really doesn't matter the vehicle will spawn wherever um, the box is and will stick out of the box as needed I'm sure it just centers itself anyways to change the size of this box you just go down to dimensions and there's an X and a Y direction so say here's our garage exit so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to ID on this one we're gonna put G A R A G E underscore exit and this one we don't want to be seen on the mini map so what we're going to do is we're not going to put icons or name it and we're going to put is visible on mini map to false because no one needs to know where the garage exit is they just want to know where the entrance is so now we have our two zones set up and ready to go into the zone settings and tell the game what we want these zones to do so before we do anything we're gonna click save just to make sure we don't have to do things twice get used to saving very often so we're gonna go up to our zone settings now there's a region settings which is what you want to use when you're making a region we want to use zone settings so we're going to open that up and it's going to give us this list so what we're going to do first we have level description so this is is enabled dev menu so that's if you want pc players to have the dev menu is ignore country purchase block is our, our Russian vehicles only allowed in Russia and North American and North America so usually you want to check that we want to ignore the per country purchase block so now we're going to open up this level video which is going to give us our terrain locators which is our zones that we put in now we're going to come down the list we're going to look for our garage entrance I haven't figured out what this is for co-op I imagine it's for a specific co-op task but for a garage not necessary so props we're gonna do a plus and we're gonna get a drop-down list and we want this to be zone property garage entrance yes click OK this upgradable garage state is for a buildable garage before you can use it so we're just gonna leave it on null because we just want a regular garage so zone property garage entrance on that prop so now we go to garage exit click down <coughs> go to our props we're going to drop down the list and we're going to look for zone property garage exit okay now we have an entrance and an exit so we're going to save this save close this we're gonna save the map again now we're gonna right click rebuild terrain which is going to rebuild all your shadows your grass is gonna spawn back and lay down all the rocks and all <clears throat> all the plants and everything again now you can see the grass is back so at that point we're gonna save it again we're gonna hit pack and 
when I see you guys again, we're going to be in game trying out our new garage. Alright folks, we are back and in game at our newly fully functioning garage. We got the entrance right there with the icon that we put in and we have the exit there. We also have nothing on the map. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, it's probably because I'm in free cam. So we're going to test out the garage. Let's check the map so we can see it says garage. It has the icon there, so everything's good. We're going to drive in. Check it out. We're in the garage. Now we're out. Everything is fantastic. I hope this helped you folks out. Let me know of any things you want me to look at in the future, and I will put out a few more videos, get better at this stuff again, and hopefully we can all get this crazy program sorted out. Thanks a lot. Talk to you again soon.